All right, Shalom. All praise the glory and honor goes to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Wadash, the belong to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, this is just some GMS news and prophecy. And this is from uh, CNN.com. <clears throat> and this headline uh, Nicaragua using shoot to kill strategy on protesters, Amnesty, Amnesty International says. So, this is dealing with the uh, situation down there in, uh, in Nicaragua. There's been a uh, there's been protests down there for the last couple of weeks. <clears throat> um, that's basically gone uh, violent. It's actually gone violent. People are getting killed. Uh, the government is coming down on different protesters, shooting and killing them. And the protesters are rising up in violence against the government. Now, this is is prophecy. This is definitely prophecy coming to pass. Okay. Um, there's 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 resurrections. It's like uh, insurrections. There's insurrections going on all over the planet, but it's actually hitting home here uh, in the nation of Israel. Uh, the Nicaraguans uh, <clears throat> are part of the tribes, okay, of the Northern Kingdom. Um, I believe they're uh, Zebulon, okay, and um, they're going against the government, and that's because the government, just like all these South American government leaders, they're all puppets for the so-called white man, you know, and when one puppet doesn't do what they say they put another puppet in office okay um so let me go ahead and get the scripture this is uh second measures 15 and 14 it says woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands and that's what's been going on okay you have one people fighting against another one, and you know whether they got a uh, uh, guns or actual swords or knives. That's that's the state of some of these places, especially down there in uh, in uh, Venezuela, because they're going through hyperinflation and a, a, a famine, and their government is coming down on them. Okay. And I'm going to read verse 16. It says, For there shall be sedition, which sedition goes, goes along with um, uh, insurrection. It's basically an, uh, an uprising against the government. It says, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And that's what we're seeing. Okay? We're seeing... These uh, protesters and these people's coming against the government. Okay, <clears throat> so now the government is using a shoot to kill strategy on the protesters. All right, so I'm gonna read some of this article that says Nicaragua has instituted a shoot to kill policy in dealing with protests that has resulted in an alarming number of deaths, according to an investigation by Amnesty International. According to the 34-page report released Tuesday, which was this, uh, not today, but this past week, it says the government has violated citizens' human rights and not only used excessive force in the context of the protest, but possibly carried out extrajudicial executions in conjunction with pro-government armed groups. Now, this is going into uh, 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 martial law, you know? And the same thing... That's happening down here in Nicaragua. It's going to happen up here in America, man. Okay? It's going to happen up here in America. This is what's coming to the U.S. All right? Because the more tension that is stirred up between these Americans up here, whether it be racial tension, all right, or or, or uh, the government squeeze, squeezing down on certain laws and or even taking away your guns, Okay? It's going to push the people and the citizens, so to speak, to the brink. And it's going to cause the government to come down on them. Meanwhile, it's going to be a famine of food and water. 
And then the Lord is going to withdraw his prophets and think it's just going to be total anarchy out here. It's going to be crazy. All right. So I'm going to continue reading. It says civil unrest has entered its sixth week in Nicaragua as protests continue throughout the country. At least 76 people have been killed and it's probably more than that. All right. According to the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights with close to 900 injured. So you're telling me 76 people have been killed, but only 900 injured? Anyway, it says, in what appears to be the largest protest the country has seen since the Civil War ended in 1990, human rights lawyer and Amnesty International Director of Americas, Erica Guevara Rosas, Guevara Rosas, yeah, said the death toll is now at least 83, so it's just rising, okay? Um... It says the Nicaraguan government has reported 15 dead since the conflict began on April 18th over social security reforms that would uh, increase contributions by workers and employers and reduce retired workers' pensions. The reforms were subsequently reversed by the government, but the unrest has continued. Yeah, because uh, uh, the, the president, he actually uh, did a, uh, uh, had a sit down, so to speak, or a speech, and he actually said that he's going to... Uh, uh, overturn that reform but but people are still rioting and protesting because that's the spirit of the, of the world right now the spirit of the world right now is war and whatever arena it could be waged in the spirit of your how shy through the different government leaders in esau is pushing out war into the world man okay um and it's a spiritual war between jacob and esau right now as well Okay, so the world is, is, is just on fire. It says protesters are calling for the removal of President Daniel Ortega and dem, uh, democratization, dem, dem, <laughs> Salaki, dem, democratization, okay, through reforms in the electoral law, such as advancing the elections. Right, so bringing in... Uh, more democracy. It says they also demand justice for the fallen victims, calling for an investigation into the violence. All right? So it's just it's just getting worse. It says fresh clashes between students and armed groups. Uh, multiple social media posts on Monday show university students clashing with armed groups at the National University of Engineering in Nicaragua, including posts from Guevara Rosas and Nicaraguan human rights activist Bianca uh, Jagger. According to a witness statement sent to CNN by one of her associates, Jagger saw the conflict from across the street, witnessing armed groups attacking, followed by anti-riot police shooting live ammunition with AK-47 assault rifles. And this is what's going on. This is what's going on, okay? And CNN is probably, you know, downplaying the violence, okay? But that's also the wrath of the Lord upon, upon our people, okay? These Israelites down here. Uh, so let me get another piece of this prophecy. Uh... Let's see. Because um, I actually it was actually a scripture I was thinking of. Um, well, okay, I'll read this. I'll, I'll jump up to verse 5. Second Corinthians 15 and 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the uh, plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing death and destruction, man. Okay, um, you know, using AK-47s and live ammunition, it's, 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 it's bloodshed everywhere, okay? So that's the prophecies being fulfilled. Um, I'm going to read some of this. It says, they were dressed to look as if they were going to war, except that their targets were young, unarmed students, Jagger said. It was a terrifying scene. Yuvara Rosa said there was a second attack where she also witnessed anti-riot police with heavy weapons beating students and taking them away in pickup trucks. That's what's to happen to you uh, uh, Jake's out here too, man. You niggas out here. Because y'all going to try to go up against the government 
and martial law is going to be declared up here in America, and they're going to take you away in a pickup truck. And these these Edomites, especially these uh these uh these Edomites involved in the race wars, they're going to take you in their pickup trucks, hog tie you, and hang you and lynch you on a tree. They're already doing it, and 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 that's what's coming too. Race wars, man. Race wars is coming to America. All right. Martial laws coming to America. Death and destruction is coming to America. And it's already being uh, uh, seen throughout the world. Okay? Um, it says, at Hospital Batista, Nicaragua, on Monday night, a person on the phone said there were many injuries, but said they were too busy to speak and hung up before providing a name. Antonio Uriola Commissioner of the Managua-based Nicaraguan Center for Human Rights condemned the clashes at the university, calling for an end to the violence. Heavy police presence was seen Monday morning by a CNN and Espanol crew on the ground after a radio station, Radio Ya, was set on fire. All right. Uh, it says Rosario Murillo, Murillo, or Murillo, Murillo. <laughs> Trying to pronounce these Spanish names. It says, uh, Salaki. It says, the country's first lady and vice president called the incident an act of hate. All right. So there's probably some Edomites down there uh, attacking you tribes, man. Okay. Like I said, race wars are coming. It says, one police officer died after being shot. While working to reestablish public order in the area of the fire, National Police said Monday, adding that their forces were attacked by a group of hooded men with firearms, mortars, and stones. And a lot of these people are agent uh, provocateurs, which uh, some are saying that they were actually set up by the government to go in and do that. But nonetheless, these things taking place are all a part of uh, uh, the prophecies in the scriptures. Okay, but we've been telling you that these things were, were uh, going to happen, and here they are sparking up around the world. All right, uh, so I got this last scripture, which I'm gonna jump. Matter of fact, I'm gonna jump back to the ninth chapter, and this is Second Genesis nine and one. It says, "He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when I see its part of the signs past, which I have told thee before." Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So we're seeing Yahweh Bashmi Shai making his presence known in the world. Okay. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and, and this protest, these protests, these violent, deadly protests down in Nicaragua are signs of the uproars of the people. Okay? It says, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And we're seeing this. We're seeing the, the end of the world right here. The fact that these protests and these things are taking place, this is the end of the world. Okay, this is the end of the so-called white man's rulership, and people are protesting and rioting uh, uh, worldwide, and it's coming to the states. And this is why we, as as men of the Lord, must be uh, vigilant. You know, you know, to report these things and speak on these things and prophesy to the people. Okay, because the gospel shall be preached, as the scripture said. And it has been. But the doors of mercy are, are going to close soon. So we must be ready and prepared. But you know, with that, I'm going to end it there. I'm going to give our praise and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom to the elect. Hope you're all edified. Till the next time I say Shalom.